Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Rain Vengeance, aka Rain Kamiata. Hey, I gotta come to y'all with a topic about Arkansas, my boy. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody be talking about Chicago like it's just the worst place in, in the world, bro. The worst per place in, to live in the universe, bro. This place, bro. This place give you rage, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like you playing Call of Duty and everybody using shotguns. This how this state make me feel, bro. Like, for, for one, I'm gonna talk about the drivers, bro. Everybody drive up each other's ass, bro. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm truly fucking confused, bro, on how niggas got their fucking license, bro. What happened to the three second rule, bro? What was the purpose? Of niggas taking driver's ed to learn all this shit and nobody applies that shit on the road, bro. What's the point of all these fucking 30 mile per hour speed limits and the whole fucking state is basically an uphill and a downhill without you even pressing the gas. If you just let your car go down the hill, nigga, you going about 60 miles per hour. But I really wanted to make this video because of the frustration from one, the drivers, and then two, Amazon, bro. Like, my girl is fucking pregnant, bro. These motherfuckers did not let this nigga talk to HR, bro. Like, this Amazon out here gotta be the blackest fucking Amazon I've ever seen in my whole entirety of living, bro. Like, I've never seen so many colored people working at security or the front desk in Amazon, period, anyway, bro. Like, I see why. These niggas is not doing their job. Niggas is walking around talking, not even handling their business, bruh. Then they letting more and more people talk to HR, bruh. Yesterday was just the most frustrating day for me, bro. Not not only to top it off, bruh, but some nigga cut me off damn near going 90 miles per hour. Like he don't see the fucking baby on board sticker on the back of the fucking car. What if my kid was in here, bruh? Like niggas be driving like they don't give a shit bro like niggas got 12 lives bro i see why niggas be got having so many high speed videos and shit about arkansas out there bro it make no fucking sense bro what the fuck the cops be doing bro the moment i fucking speed and i be fucking flying like i don't give a damn niggas max get pulled over bro because it, it clearly explains that that shit is fucking stupid bro like Tighten up, bro. Y'all niggas need to stop giving just anybody they fucking license, bro. I be wondering why everybody cars and shit fucked up out here and niggas just be driving. You not even allowed to drive around in a car that's like missing the whole fucking bumper and all of that. The back bumper is gone. Fucking wheel crooked and shit. And niggas is still driving with those type of vehicles on the fucking road out here, bro. Like, if you was in Chicago, bro, and you driving around with a fucked up ass vehicle like that, bro, the cops gonna pull your ass over and say your vehicle is literally a fucking safety hazard, bro. And write you a ticket or some shit, bro. I'm confused, bro. What the fuck be going on down here, bro? Like, who run this place, bro? I already know what some people gonna say. Bro, come to Texas. Nigga, bro, niggas ain't got the funds for that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, I'm only 23. What the fuck y'all niggas want me to do? Y'all act like I'm a multi-millionaire, bro. I'm still trying to figure out my life as I go. I ain't gonna lie. But it's 9.50 in the morning. Good morning, everybody, bro. Hope y'all niggas been doing well. I ain't trying to reflect my frustration on y'all, bro. But I, I really, somebody got to talk about it, bro. Somebody got to talk about it. All right, comparison to Chicago and fucking Arkansas, bro. Just the people that's around here standing around on the corner and standing at the gas station look way more fucking creepier than the Chicago niggas, bruh. No cap, bruh. Niggas look shady as shit, bruh. As soon as I first came down here, I'm like, bro, these niggas look like they some goddamn child kidnappers, fucking murderers. These niggas, they got it, bro. Niggas looking creepy as hell. I, I went to the gas station one time when I got off work. Me and my girl went to fucking McDonald's fucking white man fucking booty cheeks out bruh walking around with somebody that looked like a fucking kid it looked like she off drugs or some shit bro like i'm just confused bro what do the police get paid for bro i'm genuinely confused bro 
If, if I was in the goddamn police force, bro, I'd be a goddamn super cop, fo. Everybody getting arrested. If you look suspicious, nigga, and you standing at the fucking G station, two o'clock in the fucking morning, looking like you up to no good, my boy, that's articulable fucking suspicious, my boy. You suspicious as hell. I gotta, I gotta give your ass a ticket, put you in cuffs or something, my boy. You gotta be detained for how suspicious you look, fo. No cap. It's, it's, it's rules and regulations with this shit, boy. You know goddamn well if motherfuckers looking over suspicious, bro, them probably the niggas that's breaking into the houses. When I first came down here, we seen multiple apartments that they out here trying to sell for fucking high, damn near $700. Fucking windows broke out. Why the fuck the windows broke out, bro? Bro, shit don't be two in and two in in my head, bro. I got too much intellect to be looking at dumbass, low IQ shit every fucking day, bro. It's frustrating, bro, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanted to make this video to do a slight comparison to Chicago and now here, nigga. I lived in Chicago my whole fucking life. Nigga, if you ain't, if you ain't gang affiliated, you ain't got no reason to be feeling some type of way living in Chicago. If you ain't in gang activity, you ain't doing all that selling drugs and all that goof ass shit, then you should be straight, bro. You ain't gonna have no smoke with nobody. If, as long as you don't take talk to nobody and associate yourself with the wrong crowd, you Gucci in Chicago at all times, bro. I should know, cause I walk from downtown all the way to the east side where my pops live at. Nigga, no cap. But stay tuned for the next video. I got two more cooking up for y'all. I'm gonna try to think on some good positive advice or something I feel like I really need to tell my subscribers and tell my people. Again, I'll appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel. They giving me the analytics saying that it's 2,600 new people viewing my channel. I'd appreciate it if you guys drop a subscribe. It'll really mean a lot to me, bro. I'm trying to really get to 500 subscribers. I really take passion in my channel. You can go back and watch all my previous videos. I really enjoy making videos for you guys, bro, and telling you guys my life experience as I'm going through it, bro, no cap. Stay tuned, boys.